lords, my ladies, my, my brothers and sisters in arms. We live in portentous times. As I stand before you this evening, the storm clouds are not only gathering over Europe, they have unleashed a deluge of un unprecedented ferocity that the fates of famous enterprises hang in the balance. All that we hold dear, our values, our expectations, the very, the very cornerstones of our corporate culture have once again inflamed the jealousies of the dark forces, particularly the old enemy whom I shall not afford the satisfaction of mentioning, but who share the name appropriately enough with a medieval instrument of torture? <laughs> what, what does the future hold for our great company? I would say to this august congregation, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. We face an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have before us many, many long months of struggle and of suffering. You ask, what is our policy? I will say, it is to wage war over sea, land and air against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in all the dark and lamentable history of server hosting. That is our policy. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word. Victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory, however long and hard the road may be. For without victory, there is no survival. I exhort you, all of you, to hurl yourselves into the affray to screw your courage to the sticking point and to assail the enemy with our two greatest weapons, ping and people. And what is this, this ping? It is backbone, sir. Pier 1 hosting has backbone. A backbone of fiber. That is the very infrastructure of this, this fine organization. 16,000 miles of fiber that the old enemy lacks. Nor is our great empire bounded by these, these shining shores. Its arms stretch across the ocean, embracing 18 data centers, each one a monument to our strategic power and our technical superiority. But greater by far than our ping are our people, those gallant and resourceful heroes, oft unsung, battling flood and blizzard to serve our customers with unstinting dedication. For a great company is not a building, nor is it a logo, nor a, a P&L account. It is a rare and all-pervading spirit a spirit of tireless application in the service of something other than oneself. And this, this indomitable spirit will eventually seal our victory. And we will salute our people and justly say of them that never in the history of digital conflict has so much been owed by so many to so few. So, as we steel ourselves for the months and years ahead, we must take up our task with buoyancy and hope. Already the tide is turning in our favor. We may be called Pier One hosting, but when it comes to vision, courage, and determination, we have no peers. Thus, while it is not the end, while it is not even even the beginning of the end, it is perhaps the end of the beginning. We cannot for a moment afford to relax. We must drive ourselves forward with unrelenting zeal, 
in this strange, terrible hosting war, there is a place for everyone. Customer service in a thousand forms is open, from the highest to the humblest task. All are of equal honor. All have their part to play. There's no room now for the dilettante, for the weakling, for the shirker, or the sluggard. We shall go on to the end. We shall defend our company, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the web. We shall fight in the data centers. We shall fight in the server halls and in the special interests. And we shall never, ever surrender. The old enemy fondly imagined would bring our neck like a chicken. Some chicken, some neck. <laughs>